All right, so what you need to do with your partner is one of you needs to point your tube at the tin and the other person needs to listen, also pointing your tube at the tin. And what's going to happen is the sound is going to bounce off the tin and back into your tube. So Callie, go ahead and whisper something to Audrey. Audrey, tell us what she said. Hello. All right, now you whisper back to her. Callie, what did she say? I love it. Okay, so you guys go ahead and keep practicing with each other. So, Callie, you go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> I think they're telling each other stories. All right. So, Sophie, how do you think that works? How do you think they can hear each other? Well, I think um, the air bounces off when they talk and then it goes back into the other. Okay, did you know that bats cannot see very well? And did you know that bats use sound to see where they're going? So when a bat screams, have you guys ever heard a bat scream? No. Okay, well, when a bat screams, it's a very loud noise. And what happens is is the sound bounces off whatever the bat is screaming at and then he knows then he needs to change his direction and go a different way so that he doesn't hit it. Isn't that cool? So it works the same way as your sound bouncing off that tin pan. What's happening is when Kelly when you're talking into your tube the sound is vibrating on that little piece of tin that Sophie's holding and then Audrey can hear it through her tube and all it is is the vibrations coming off the tin. Isn't that fun? All right, so you guys learned about what? Do you remember what it's called? A location. Awesome job, thank you for your help.